perfect analogy for trying to get a hold on your finances. <laughs> just like Julep and her dog tree, sometimes getting a hold of our finances can seem just out of reach. Like, listen, okay, I buy a lot of things. How am I supposed to keep track of that? And it's true, we have a lot of things that we have to pay for, a lot of things that we would like to purchase, and uh, that's a lot to keep up with. But the truth is, when we budget, we have to track every single expense. So what's the best way to do it? When using YNAB, you have two options. You have three options. That's right, folks. We have three ways for making sure you keep up with every single transaction you ever make. Let's learn them. Your first option is direct import. Now, to a millennial such as myself, this seems like the obvious option. What? I link my bank accounts and it automatically imports every single transaction I ever make into my budget without me having to do any work? I'll take it. And direct import is awesome. However, direct import is not perfect. Though your bank does a magnificent job of sending your transactions from your bank account to your budget, it can take a while. When you swipe a card, it already takes a while for the bank to process it, and once the bank processes it, it takes a while for it to get to your budget. So the problem there is your budget isn't always live and up to date. Let's say you have $50 in your eating out category. You end up taking a friend to lunch, you treat them, and you spend $30. But it doesn't clear your bank for four more days. So for the next four days, it looks like you have $50 in your dining out category, when really you only have 20. But your spouse doesn't know that. They see that there's $50 in your dining out category and they go spend $35 on a dinner with a friend. So now you're $15 overspent in your dining out category, all because the bank took a little longer than you wanted it to. At the same time, direct import is amazing because it will never let a single transaction slip through the cracks. Eventually, every transaction will come into your budget because sometimes we're not always on top of it. The second option is you can enter transactions yourself. When you set up your budget, you don't link your bank accounts, you just enter the current amount for each account and budget away. In this case, the ball is eternally in your court, which some people love. They love having that control, it's really great for building intentional habits and being an intentional budgeter, and your budget will always be live and completely up to date. Let's hop back to our dining out situation. You had $50 in your dining out category, you take a friend out to lunch and spend $30. If you record that transaction right away, your spouse will immediately know, oh, there's only $20 left in here. So maybe we go to Subway instead of a sit down restaurant. Now, some of the cons of entering transactions for yourself is just that you have to remember. It is a little harder to keep track of things like automatic payments, utilities or subscriptions that just come straight out of your account without you swiping your card. Some people like to pull up their bank account online and wind up on the side and go through and make sure they didn't miss any transactions throughout the week. But guys, that brings us to our third option and in my opinion, the best option. This is gonna blow your mind. Are you sitting down? The third option is the perfect combination of direct import and entering transactions yourself. I finally switched over to this option about three months ago and it has been a game changer. Thought we were playing ping pong? Turns out we're playing lacrosse. Game changed. Let me list some of the beauties of utilizing this method. There are some categories that we spend out of all of the time, while others are pretty static and remain the same from month to month. For instance, every single month, my rent is the same, my water bill pretty much the same, my subscriptions the same. And these are conveniently all the things that I have set up on automatic payments, so those payments come straight out of my account without me having to lift a finger. That also means I don't notice all the time when they are taken out of my account. I know my due dates for all those payments, but my budget is fully locked and loaded and prepared for when it's time to make those payments. So I just kinda then there are what we call our out and about categories. This is your dining out category, your groceries, your clothes, your coffee, your board games, I don't know, video games, your music category, your... These are also the same categories where we seem to perpetually overspend. Is that just me? So it's really important that these categories stay live and up to date. All of my out and about categories where I'm physically swiping a card or maybe making an online purchase, I enter those transactions immediately on my own, in my app, on my phone, on my compute, whatever. Immediately, those categories are up to date, so I know exactly what my budget is and when I will be overspending if I choose to do so. But these other transactions, right? The automatic payments and stuff? 
I don't even, I just, I don't, I don't touch them. Just some random Tuesday, they just pop right into the budget. I categorize them, approve them, we're good. I don't really need to enter those transactions myself because they're pretty consistent. I'm prepared for them. So when they roll in through direct import, I just approve and move on with my life. That felt cooler in my head. And the final beauty of using both direct import and entering transactions yourself is that you'll never miss anything. Now I've developed a pretty good habit at this point of updating my budget right away whenever I make a purchase, whether it be swiping my card or online. But sometimes you go through the drive-thru, set the receipt on the passenger seat and it magically disappears. You forget the evidence is gone, but your budget knows. Direct import just rolls that bad boy in with that little face like, remember when you got that matcha latte? Oh, you don't. <laughs> I did. And you can be eternally grateful to your budget for never letting you miss a beat. Using direct import while entering transactions yourself is kind of like the ultimate safety net. You're putting in the work, you're building those good habits and making sure your budget is always up to date. But when you forget something or those automatic payments roll in, your budget won't let you forget. Now, I'm guessing if this is new information to you, you probably thought I can't do that because then I'll have a bunch of duplicate transactions in my budget. But alas, you won't. Because when you enter a transaction yourself and then direct import rolls that same transaction in the next day, it sees the two, they're the same, it links them. All you have to do is approve it. If two transactions happen to link up that aren't actually the same, you can always unmatch them and approve them separately. That's why YNAB will never approve a transaction for you, but always make sure you have the final say. Was it the right category? Was it for the right amount? And you get to decide what to approve. Now, if you have certain categories that you find yourself spending from a lot, here's a bonus tip. In the YNAB mobile app, there's actually a way that you can pin your most frequently used categories to the very top of your budget for easy access on the go transactions. Click on the category you tend to frequent more than others, click details, and in the upper right hand corner, you'll see a push pin. Go ahead and select the push pin and head back to your budget. And now you'll see that that category is pinned to the very top of your budget. If you're someone who buys lunch every day at work, go ahead and pin that category to the top of your budget. That way, when it's time to enter that transaction, you have easy access. The pinning feature is currently only offered on the mobile app because it's designed for entering transactions on the go. If you haven't already, I hope you'll give this method a shot. Like I said, it's been a total game changer for me because I'm super active and involved in my budget. It's always up to date and I never miss a beat. And if you have a preferred way you like to enter your transactions, let us know which team you're on in the comments below. And as always, see you next time.